So the next thing I want to do is actually make these forms look nice. So these forms came with devise and they do what they need to do, but they don't actually look that great right here. So there's a few things we can do. One of which is we can just, there's a command we can run called, actually I can just kind of show you part of it here. It's rails generate devise views. And then that will allow us to see the markup and change the markup for all of these forms. The other thing, which will save a lot more time is using this gem, which is device bootstrapped. And not only will it generate the markup and files we need, but then it'll also add bootstrap classes to the forms. So I'm just going to use this because it's going to save us a lot of time. So the first thing I want to do here is add this to our gem file. And I'm also going to just tighten this up a bit. And I'm going to run bundle install. And you'll notice that we're pointing to a particular repository in a particular branch. Um, if you don't do this, it just I think it just goes to Ruby gems to download the gem. So this is actually important. And this is why I didn't just do bundle add. So those installed, the next thing we want to do is actually run this generator down here. And this is going to generate the files that we need. Okay, so we can see here that under our views directory, there's this new directory called devise. And in here are all the folders and files that devise actually uses under the hood, but now they're exposed to us in our application. So we can go ahead and change the markup. So for example, this file right here controls the markup for the new registration page and form. And you can see here that there's a bunch of bootstrap classes so if we clear this out and run foreman start, we should be able to see these changes in our application. Okay, so now if we restart our server and go to our application, we can see that this form now has bootstrap styles. Same with the sign up form and these additional forms here to reset your, either to resend your confirmation instructions or to reset your password. So this is great. And if we wanted to actually change the way any of this worked, we now have access to all the files that create these forms.